What's up, gang? Welcome back to another Schmodown Run Back with your boy Sobro Ryu. Um, it may look a little offset today because I'm actually entertaining a guest, the one and only Shoji Romero. He's here today. <laughs> I just walked in. <laughs> Walked into freeload. Yeah, he did. Walked into freeload for the weekend. So he's here, and we're about to watch the uh, double header that's going on for singles matches today. Uh, it is uh, the undercard, which is uh, Mark and Draco versus John Humphreys from the Real Rejects, and of course the uh, the main event, the the battle we've been waiting for. Uh, of course, William Bibiani versus Christian Harloff, the Commissioner. Yo, it's finally happening. Uh, Harloff called him out. Bibiani was hungry. He wants to eat up the commissioner for breakfast. He wants to destroy him. We're gonna see what happens here. I am. Uh, I, my, I gave up my matchup. Uh, my matchup predictions for this match, and I do think it's a six-four matchup between uh, Bibiani and Harloff. With Bibiani being uh, the the winner that could possibly take it, but I'm rooting for Christian because I, I want to see the underdog make it this time. So we'll see what happens. Show what's your prediction, sir? Christian, uh, he's the one that he's the commissioner, right? He's the commissioner, yeah. He's the underdog. Yeah, he's the underdog going into this. Bibi oh, whatever, man. Bibi he's going to win because he rigged the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, collusion. <laughs> he runs the thing, man. Come on now. The game, the game is rigged. <laughs> that he he knows he probably knows exactly how to spin the wheel, with how what force to get Lander exactly what he wants. Right. <laughs> What's that thing at the end when they pick the numbers? He knows exactly what every category is. He knows what figures to pick. <laughs> He's got that game rigged, and he should have it rigged. He's the commissioner. No, nah, I mean, uh, you know what's funny is that people all the time will talk shit and say, Man, this game is rigged, blah, 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 blah. It's like, the, 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 the storylines and everything built up is manufactured, but the game itself, if they fuck with the game... That's it for the Schmodown. That's it. No, he, he, I, I saw that. Uh, you showed me that behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. Never fuck with the game. Yeah, never fuck with the game at all. And um, that's that's the one core element of it. And if they if they did that, it would be the downfall of the show. Because I, I, the way I look at it is if anybody... He doesn't know the questions. I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. He, <laughs> but he's going to write all those props. Yeah. He knows how that wheel works. <laughs> he's got he's got the game facts on that wheel. <laughs> the, the, pro, the pro tips. <laughs> you know... When he's on that show for so long, you know the kind of questions that's going to be asked. Again, he doesn't know the answers for the yeah. ones he's going to be asked tonight yeah. or today, but come from, on now. From my understanding of it, uh, the cat that writes the questions, his name is Chris Kaliski. Um, they He writes a separate set of questions anytime uh, the It's already collusion. It's another Chris. The, yeah. <laughs> but his eyes just Chris, but uh, he, um, he writes separate questions just uh, for the hosts when they have to play the game. So that way they're not exposed to any questions ahead of time. But um, I, if anything, I'm I'm really curious to see how this plays out. Uh, at least between um, Andreco versus um, uh, Humphreys, uh, man, I have a bad. I, I lately I've been terrible about um, predictions. But uh, when it comes to the matchup between them, um, I think that Andreco has the edge because he's kind of a trivia monster too. Him and Bibiani both premiered at the same time. Which one's Andreco? Andreco is uh, he's the um, the MVP or the one that took out the four people at the end? No, uh, he was the one that took out the four people. With uh, with, during the uh, free fall, and um, because of that, I, I, he but he had a very strong showing his first match, and although he uh, lost his second match, although it's a kind of off the book second match, he lost it. It wasn't. It, it was very close that he lost it at, by, and then he won his third match. So I think his uh, official score is uh, two zero, although it's really two one. But um, what stable is he on? Uh, he's in the Lions Den. Oh, fucking Lions Den. <laughs> Those fuckers are always cheating. <laughs> Lions Den. So, the but one they, in the Lions Den will probably win it now. They cheat them out of her interviews, at You least. fucking want them to lose, but they don't. They don't, man. <laughs> they got the devil's luck, bro. They, that's, they got it, man. They got it. Fucking JTE and Snyder. They're the ones with the Patriots, right? They're the Patriots, yeah. Fucking Patriots. <laughs> God. Oh, my God. I don't know how they got that devil's fucking luck, so... Yeah. He's gonna win. Hey, you, th you think uh, Andreco? Andreco, I think has got the edge. I think it's another six-four matchup. Uh, Humphreys, though, he has been showing show and prove. He, he's been doing pretty well. And although he's new to the league, I I I really wouldn't mind if I saw him win. So we'll see what happens. Suki, you gotta go. You gotta go outside, dog. That's our. That's we're taking care of uh, 
my parents' dog for the next two weeks. So uh, you may see a dog come in and out this room the, the entire time. But before we get started, I want to remind you guys to make sure to pause this video before you actually keep going. The reason why is um, I, I want you to go and watch the original video first. So that way you support the video, leave a comment on the original video, make sure to also thumbs it up and uh, subscribe to youtube.com slash collider videos right there that link is right there as i put my hand in front of show's face yes <laughs> That's right. i can't even see my face the microphone's in the way there you go <laughs> it, it's uh, oh you know, yes you can't even see your face because this mic is in the way <laughs> You could be seen in the camera though, so there you go. That's that's all that matters. But we're about to get this started. Yeah, make sure you go to that link, watch the video first, or you can watch it in tandem with this video. Uh, and that way they get their view and they get their comment and they get their uh, thing. It's more important that you comment on the original video and also thumbs up the original video than this one. Although I do very much appreciate it when you all do that here too. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, you're gonna notice we're looking up as opposed to me looking over here as I normally do, only because uh, I am. Uh, we're watching on my main screen which is over here. Usually when I do them by myself, I, you'll see me looking over to the side, but we're gonna be looking up. Well, show it don't matter because he's so far in the background, but for me, you can see me looking up like a, like, what the fuck is he looking at? Yeah, I'm looking at- The this. stream's gonna be able oh, to see right up your nose. <laughs> he's gonna be like, God, look at all those nose hairs. Look at all those nostrils, nostril hairs, man. God, it's like a forest in there. <laughs> Gross. Don't you worry, you young bucks. Oh my when God. When you get old, your hair, your nose is gonna be filled with so much hair. Oh man, he's gonna be like the, the <laughs> Apparently, hair starts growing out your ears. I don't, I don't oh. have that yet. Oh, that's horrible. I don't look forward to it. Though. I don't either. Ugh. Yeah, I'm losing hair in my head, and it's growing everywhere else. It fucking sucks. It's got to go somewhere else. Oh, man, old age, bro. Old age. 40 years old is no joke. All right. It... I thought you were going to cut your hair. <laughs> I am. I finally found my clippers. They're right here, so I can finally cut my hair. They're so... always there. Uh, no, man. They were in the fucking bathroom. You know, no, this is a long fucking story. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I finally found my clippers. My hair is finally going to be summer bald. I can't wait. Sure. It's going to be looking fucking Kojak as fuck. Let's go. I, Put in your comments. Uh, vote to see uh, if uh, next video he's going to actually cut his hair. Oh, my. Right? Right? The, well, then what's the next video? I'll still have this fucking is, is, mop. Is there a six to four odds to that? Because oh I think that's generous. Damn it. I know my dad's calling. I will have to call him back. There you go. Sorry, Dad. He wants to be on the show. He wants to be on the show. I will call him. Oh, Dad, I will call you back. No worries. All I know is he safely landed in St. Thomas with that call. The answer so is Blazing like, Saddles. <laughs> Yo, if Blazing Saddles I don't know what the question up, is. <laughs> it never uh, came up? Blazing what? Saddles? Blazing Saddles? It's come up once or twice before, yeah. They've had questions about it. One of them was, what was the name of the town? in which Blazing Saddles took place and no one knew Rock Ridge. It fucking killed me. Rock Ridge? Rock Ridge. No one fucking <laughs> knew. It was like, what? It was fucking Blazing Saddles. Well, guys. if I was put on the spot, I probably wouldn't have not known it off the top oh, of Oh my god. Rock Ridge. Fucking burned it to my brain because I love that movie so much. All right. We're going to get this popping, guys. Sorry about the wait. As always, you want to pause the original video if you're watching it in tandem with this one on one when I count down from three to one. Here we go. Three, two, one. That's how we do, son. Let's go. Damn, those planets blew the fuck up. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yo, Krypton Maybe. ain't shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do, do, do. oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, look at Roka in, hey, in that song. Wow, that is the way that he's fucking hurting this guy. <laughs> oh, Unbelievable. What an entrance by Viviani. <laughs> Yo, the basement. I love Viviani. At least he has a shtick. I like to rate them as they when they come out with their uh, entrances, like one out of five stars. Show don't like to give more than one star. <laughs> it's either one star or no star. I could give the outline. Uh, the outline of the star. A whole lot of questions. <laughs> they have to, to fill it in. Answer a few little, of them against the beast. Of room. Bibiani. Oh, I'm he's part of the four horsemen. Uh, me and you. Oh, yeah, Bibiani's yeah, part of the four horsemen. You're calling me. Sorry, I'm <laughs> Wait. So you ready to do this? Let's I go. am ready to Me do and this. you. I am ready. I am all right. ready to kick uh, some uh, Harloth all over. I love how it looks like one of the stipulations okay, for the four horsemen. You have to if be uh, can beat round. Me, then I will give you the winner of McQueenie and Snyder. Play <laughs> well, no, because uh, Matt Nost is in shape. He's, 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 he's all right. Matt Nost is the smallest of all of them, but uh, everybody else is either... Either, either either broad or or or, or, or rotund or, 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 or round in some way. <laughs> it's all good, baby. They're filled with movie facts. Filled with movie. <laughs> <laughs> they they're big. They they round like me. I want to go up against them. You kidding me? 
they know all them facts. So many. Here we go. Oh, that guy. That guy. That's John Humphrey right there. Yo, hey, Draco. <laughs> Yo, look at him. <laughs> I just shot him. Was that, was that Sam Hain on his shirt? <laughs> It might have been. It, from uh, that one um, from Ghostbusters? No, from uh, that one Halloween movie I showed you. Oh, from uh, fucking um, Hocus Pocus. No, I don't want to say it. I was about to say Hocus Pocus. Uh, <laughs> trick or Treat. Trick or Treat, yeah. Trick or Treat. He managed to make it through. Where'd that land him? Square in the pants of Mark Andreco. Well, listen, MVP John Humphrey of the Free For All, absolutely, but... What Mark and Draco accomplished in the I know, free right? for all Fucking is one of the everybody. Yo, talked look, about look at the stuff, man. history of all time. <laughs> he took out Dan Merle, John Roca, he William cleared Viviani, the fucking table, and Drew McWeenie with one shot. Done, they're took done. Him out. What? So that was two four, uh, two of the horsemen right there. For him to be in a single shot. the table, I believe. Was, uh, I saw Roker and I thought the other world, one was the beast. Yeah, the beast. Yeah, Bibi only was at the table. So yeah, two horsemen at the table. Like, it's a bunch of hungry lions. Is room. Michael Douglas from the Ghost of the Darkness going to show up today? We're about to find out. We're going to find <laughs> oh, okay. out. Okay. A lot to be talked about <laughs> on them hunts. I am feeling excited, a little terrified. Yeah, that is a that is a same thing. Roused, you know. This is going to be a new experiment. Uh, um, I'm ready to go. Who is this Humphrey character? Oh, fucking Fitzstock? The killer. He stopped wearing the hat. Demolished real <laughs> people. He stopped wearing the fucking uh, in the camo fall. hat. Humphrey might as well be... Who did he be? The pizza guy? <laughs> the guy answered no questions correctly. I don't think he ever did that. And there was a girl He there, does look like a pizza guy. There was another guy. Just a little bit. That, and then there was nobody. <laughs> the man just flossing anyway, that strap. that being said. Yo, where's Jatay? This guy, it would be really disappointing to me if... And Draco even had to answer his two, three, and five. The Lions Den are, are despicable people, just, just most of them. Uh, personally, in real, I mean that in real life. I gotta uh, say, I'm going for Humphrey, man. I, I, I want to see him win. Like Come on. Come on, dude, you gotta do it. Something, uh, anybody a few times. than the fucking the Lions Den. Uh, <laughs> Lions Den. Yeah, but I've been wedgies before, so they're they're boisterous. I think I'm pretty good at this. Every time I see people go up against the Lions Den, they let me down. So I hope I hope come out with a win, but you never know. The the wheel and the fate of the questions can be a great equalizer, as I've said before. So yeah, it is. I'm hoping for the best, but I'm not going to get too cocky. You got this. You got this. They can get, they can get Yo, cocky. And Grace is part of the yeah, stable life, now, too. Life has been God, a different since they got Grace, the that red -headed with you. I got uh, a lot lady. More people She's now their, like, their, their interviewer. VP their own interviewer. Before, yeah. I think anything. She's actually pretty uh, cool. So that's a good way to kick in the door on that. She's, and she's taking that heel now, persona you know, and go running off. with it. That's pretty dope. I don't have to live up to anything. You know, no no sophomore slump is, is going to be good. Yo, what's great, man? Like nice they to hype you up, bro? But just surviving in the di in the ditch in World War One doesn't mean you're a good soldier. You shouldn't get the medal of He's valor. like the one dude that doesn't have the personality that fits. He's too tame. They but they keep him because um, so he's, he's, he's good as shit. He's, he's fucking good. He's fucking good. Then again, the guy with the belt, morning, I couldn't Andre believe Andre Andre all, Andre all the answers he got. Would it be? He beat. He took that from Roca, right? Yeah, yeah. Fucking Riley was the original champion. I was thinking, I don't. I've never. He was the original champion when this all started. This guy? No, not him. The one who was in the karate kid. His shit. He, was, oh, yeah. he was the yeah. original champion uh, initially, but, and know, then he got the belt back too, so after I'm over a year and some change. How about that? Well, hopefully I'll chew him up and spit him out, but you know... So Riley's a much better... Uh, uh, he cuts on, much better so promos we'll now see. than when he did in the beginning. Bottom line, he's a loser. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go put that on the shirt. I mean, look at the Lions. They need to work on that tagline, though. To grow as we see Grace <laughs> Hancock is back with the Lions Den, talking some smack with the rest of the crew. She fits in pretty well, but they were, I mean, you know. I bet you he wishes now that he realized that John Humphrey since we we're going to see the back of his Andrei laptop all this time, MVP, yeah. that the Autobot symbol was the up. other way <laughs> Yo, Christian, he's please ready. flip it. <laughs> you know it's bugging him now. <laughs> this shit is always upside down, man. <laughs> he watches these videos. You know that's bothering you. <laughs> what he can do is... Well, he's not going to put the Decepticon symbol on there. If he did, he should put it the opposite way. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, random stuff he knows. Not liking you is what Draco's specialty is. <laughs> Dramas, comic books, movies, not liking you. Not liking you. He's... That guy is like uh, trying too hard to be a heel. <laughs> coming up pretty soon. Uh, RB3 just lost to nose. They haven't been. They haven't got that big win. Yeah, Young Bucks are hurting, man. The only, only, start the only young stable. Run. It, it only person. Like, will the Young Bucks? Yeah, the only person in Young Bucks that has a belt or, or high standing is Hector Navarro. Here we go with the movie trivia. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. 
Here we go. Introducing Let's see how they come first. out. This fucking song again? Come on. The young Yo, what bucks. the hell is this? Making his Yo, they need to pick better music, man. Come on, fellas. Wow. They got a fucking a carpet for this guy? Oh. It is the one and only. <laughs> <laughs> is that Greg with him? Good shit. John Humphrey. We got a piece? John Humphrey to John Wick? <laughs> And he knows how to perform. He's putting on a rip for it. He is. John Humphrey, the Mad Hatter. But you gotta come out stronger than that, man. Come on now. I like the rug, but. And the Jabberwocky bands. My advice to John Humphrey is be the star you are. The other three, keep the masks on. I don't know what it is. This song's already got me angry. Oh. I'll give it a 2.5. 2.5 stars. Representing. Right down the middle. The Lion's Dead. Oh, here we go. How's Andre going to work him out? This is his intro. Of one win. Well, he's already he's Kinda already won. He usually comes out to the Wonder Woman theme because he writes. Wonder well, Woman. he didn't. Okay, he yeah. came out to Flash, freaking Gordon. You better you better live up to the song, son. So you know this part of the stream is already <laughs> muted because <laughs> we already got Queen played. Actually, I think they're whitelisted um, when it comes to music because they're with Complex and they have like music related channels, so that's probably how they get away with using music. Which is really cool because I hate for them to get copyright fucked. Because they, they have copyright music and this all the time, but we got a surprise. I put one song in my fucking video, so it's over. <laughs> Do the hard heavy lifting for him. He's just here to answer some questions, possibly correct me. Okay. All right, All right here we go. So right. round number one, Is how it low, does it go? Low, low John Humphrey and Mark Andrew in front of you each have a no, I can hear and it. dry erase marker. You're gonna hear eight questions from eight different movie categories. Good thing is I, they, 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 they write it down in the box. Right? Yeah, that's true. There's no stealing in round one. Once the trick is, though, I've noticed other uh, other people who commentate on these videos, they start to look away from the screen when the questions come up, and it gives them better, I guess, better practice of answering the questions, but I can't do it. <laughs> I am. That's how I know I was talking about this on the show. Let's get ready to schmoda! Just give me 1980s movies. I'm going to win it. <laughs> win it all. Sweeping the questions. Animated. And the two strings. The character of Hanzo is of what relation dad. to Kubo? You would be correct. You know that movie he's the Beatle, right? He's the Beatle, yeah. Because he's either dad or the grandfather. Yeah. Tell is this, I'm assuming that's, that's the good. dad, Hanzo, I believe. Hanzo, yeah. Yeah, Hanzo is the Beatle Four, samurai Because that's a samurai uh, dude. Grandfather? No. You're wrong. Uncle? No! You're wrong. They made it too hard. Wow! Well, the people be striking out on animation, boy. Like, I don't know why! Oh, God! <laughs> Your next question comes from a little bit of comedies. But that's your fucking fault. <laughs> in comedies, Matt Bomer plays the assassin oh, shit. John Boy. You know in this. What you know this. Come on. Nice guys? Film. Yes. I always want to say the other guys, but it's the nice guys. Uh, the Not the other guys. Yeah, yeah. the other guys are something completely different. Because, dude, we just saw this movie. We, we saw this movie at whatever We watched it on the low. John Boy. <laughs> No! Nice guy. Thank you. I'm glad somebody got that. Nice guy. Please. Please. And oh, ironically, nice. Matt Bomber is a delightful young guy. No, other guys say is Matt Bomber is a delightful young man? He is. Will Aim Ferrell. dropping and, uh, here early. Uh, Mark. Mark. Yes. No points awarded. Aim He's for the prettier bushes. than me, so I got to interrupt that name. <laughs> <laughs> I want to move you, dumb. Question number three in the category of dramas. I don't got it. played rig <laughs> supervisor Jimmy Harrell. I never saw this Deep Water Horizon. I know this. This is John Malkovich. Jimmy he was in Deepwater Horizon? Yeah, John Malkovich. Well, he was the, he was, I believe he was, the, it's either John Malkovich or it's, um. That's the movie with Marky Mark? That's yeah. The, okay. Marky Mark. But he played the asshole rig supervisor. If I recall, it's either him or it's the guy who was his boss. I don't know who's but in the movie. I only saw the John Malkovich. So, Marky Mark. See it, but I'm guessing Scott Glenn? No. Correct. That's a good guess, though. Uh, John. I didn't see it, but I'm guessing Bruce Greenwood. No. I'm also incorrect, looking for <laughs> Kurt Russell. It was Kurt, fuck. Kurt Russell was in yeah, that movie? Yeah, was in it, yeah. He was played, he in the trailer? <laughs> he's in the trailer, yeah. He's got, he's got that full-grown man beard, though. Thriller I forgot movies. Kurt Russell was in it. A horror thriller. How often? Oh. Does BP the representative was played by John Malkovich. Twenty and feed. Twenty six, twenty eight, twenty. How often do you awaken? How often is I'm, a creature? I'm fucking saying every number. I, I would <laughs> it's like twenty something you days. Off? I was off all Years. 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 Oh wow. Four, three, 
I don't know. I've never seen the movie, uh, so I could 26. Is, like is it once game. every 10 years? Incorrect. Mark. Every 28 years? Close. Close. Three years. Okay. He said 28. I guess 26. All right, here we go. I only noticed because my father watches it all the fucking time. It, sho it shows it on that that Chillers channel. Oh, Every no time is on <laughs> watching that shit. Fuck, I could not do that. Strong's character go by Merlin. In Kingsman, the <laughs> you you, you said you'd be slow. <laughs> Dude, that is so easy because yeah, it it's is. fresh in a lot of people's minds it because is. of the trailer for the second one. Yeah, and the Knights of the Round and all that motif and all that. Uh, Galahad was... Uh, Galahad was... Um, fucking... Uh, John. Merlin... Yeah, correct for one more. Right. Um, fuck I, if I know. Those are the only names I remember. Incorrect. Galahad and Merlin. And, <laughs> and of course, Eggsy. From, uh, Eggsy. <laughs> what is I've Eggsy's code name going to be now? Is he going to be more confident? confidently? <laughs> All right, here we go. Next question. It is from the category of family films. Right. What country did the... <laughs> Japan, <laughs> come on! <laughs> Please tell me they got this. Turtles 3... Turtles in time. Please, please, <laughs> y'all. This is so, all you so have to do is remember the trailer. You heard Severi, dressed up like Severi. I know. I had struggled to get through that fucking movie too. If you were ever worried about losing Emma Fife, will never lose her. Nah, big, big turtle gal. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Mark Andrejko. Japan. Correct Thank you. One point. Yeah. Yeah, I know you know. Dude, this. they're they're, they're doing. Like they're doing. <laughs> they're doing what? Yo, they're doing terrible. Oh, John, come two, on, dude. You were young enough to see that movie in the theaters. A slow oh, maybe he was bar. too young. You've got two hundred percent of the. Point. I would have not gotten to Kurt Russell one. And I got close with the twenty one. unit commander. Bill Paxton. Yeah. <laughs> come on. He just passed away too, man. Come on, guys. This is an N A M N. Yeah. And an alumni, uh, <laughs> looks like a alumni, I can't believe this. They are good players. Yo, he's one of the scene stealers of the film. Let me guess, y'all didn't see this movie. I'm gonna be disgusted. Please. Watch us be wrong, and it's actually Candyman. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> Although he was in the movie, right? Oh, come on, man. Zenu? Oh. These guys. Names. This I overestimated both these Bill cats. Paxton. The one of the great Paxton. actors we had. That's right. Bill the late great oh. He had some of the greatest, right, greatest monologues. You are do oh, doing that man a disservice. Man, comes from the world of 80s gone. movies. 80s, I got it. Name a movie released in the 1980s. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. This Your honest question spot is here. the following. <laughs> director Jonathan Lynn collaborated with what famed comedy director? Really? Was Lynn? You just saw this the other day. I just saw it the other day because when his name popped up, I'm like, John Landis. I just saw this movie. I sh I was just I telling. This wrote clue. I didn't know that. I I was dude when I loaded up and that name came up. I'm like, John Landis. That makes so much fucking sense. Incorrect. Oh no. Ramis. Oh, I only know this shit, guys, because I literally just loaded this movie up on Hulu two nights ago. We just talked about it at dinner. Yes. Amazing. All that goodwill we got from the free for all. Gone. The lowest. This might be the lowest scoring first round I've ever seen. I would have been murdering this shit. You've been nailing them, sir. All right. In round two. I didn't know Kurt Russell in 23 years, and I got it wrong too. How the What an odd number. <laughs> 20, I knew it was in the 20s. Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> what an odd number, 23 points, years. Which somehow puts you in the lead. Oh, so you will choose whether you want to spin first or second. You are awarded a mulligan if you do not like the category you yeah, first Yeah, dude. I, Once you settle on your category. He literally, there was a time he literally feet, saw so Jeepers sure Creepers. The answer and judging from you, you're not. Like you can every check day. Multiple choice, wow. at which point the value of the question every time I showed on down. Chillers. Your father has an unhealthy mind, obsession with that film. Stealing <laughs> in round it's funny thing. They say Jeepers Creepers. It's actually part two he always watched. You know the school bus? Oh, yeah, yeah. But they say it in that too. Oh, wow. Okay, please give it a been 23 years from the first one to the second. I don't. Confident? No, if that's Very the case. But in part two, it actually starts out he's like 23 he's years earlier. He's oh, looking for what? Oh! <laughs> I'd be finding crime movies. I fucking crime love that crime. Not me. I love crime, crime movies. movies. Even though I probably wouldn't know them. That's like a broad category. <laughs> it kind of is, yeah. Uh, go again. You sure? All right. He does not All like bro. broad categories. I think Draco's pretty Here's adept in a lot of categories, but his showing today has not been good. You know what killed me is somewhere in crime movies, he has a question of uh, what crime movie stars Bill Murray and... Uh, <laughs> 
19. What's the other guy's name? Who, um... The guy from our, um, Independence Day. In the talking about fucking, um... Movies. You have the floor, uh, fucking right, Mark Randy... Quake. Quake, Randy Quake. Main vampires in interview with the vampires. Well, that's Pitt and Cruz. Yep. Well, the two main male vampires? Okay. Yeah. Brad Tom Cruise and... Cruz. Yeah. The movie pretty much. Let's stat in... Slater bait there. <laughs> All right. And Brad Pitt. Tom Cruise probably wanted to be top. Oh, 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 I see it. Do I drink it with no? A modified shaving cream. Let me fix my face. To smuggle out dinosaur embryos. What brand of shaving cream? Barbasol. That's correct for two points. Absolutely. Two more points. So in the greatest fucking advertising in the film. Finally. All right. Your next question. Had me checking bottoms, bottoms of Barbasol cans. Features Bruce Willis playing a Pittsburgh cop named Tom. Striking Hardy. distance. Wow, Get the fuck points. out of now here! Yeah, how the fuck three you three know three that? that? Tom right Hardy? Yeah. That was his In name. The Shawshank <laughs> Redemption. What bombshell? Was oh, yo, that was uh, Rita. Rita Hayward. Yeah. yeah, that is correct for two points. All right. Two well, that's how it started, but eventually Draco became a Carl Welch. You know, but it took him a while, but the, it, the name of the book is called Rita Hayward and the Shawshank Redemption. All right, so Mark Andreco crushes the board. I just remember Morgan Freeman saying, "Read." All right, John, you're up. Give it a good spin. Striking distance, really, bro? <laughs> oh, that was a clutch ass answer. Not, I would have never have known that shit. I've been mindful. That is a spin and a half. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Round and round it goes. Mixed Woo! bag. That's not sci-fi. bad. Do it. Do it. Fantasy sci-fi. Is, uh, fantasy can kill you. Oh man. Okay, okay bro. Whatever, bonus man. choice. Okay. If Labyrinth comes I grew up, up watching on fantasy movies. Is that what he spins? <laughs> Why? Why bother? You could have put a little There's different. Uh, fucking people for real. Oh. All right, All right, what we got? What we got? He is stuck with fantasy sci-fi. <laughs> yeah. Give us and some fantasy. Give us some beast man. Han Solo's gun. Give us Crow. Come on, give us Crow. Legend. Your first one. For two points. Who plays the Wicked Queen? Charlize no Theron. You nailed it. Charlize Theron. Two points. You said, don't give it to him. He said it wrong. <laughs> All right, your next question. Your next question, John. Who played protagonist Tristan Thorne? Oh. In Daredevil. Yeah. Cox. Char- Charlie Cox. Cox. Oh, ah. Charlie Cox. Daredevil, on, Daredevil bro. popped in my head. On, make, I've make seen it. this movie an embarrassingly it's, it's too many times. It's Matthew Vaughn's most a. understated Henry film, Cavill, man. B. James McAvoy. It had Charlie Cavill Cox. It had um. Or D. Charlie Cox. Meg. Cox. Not Meg. Who, who's the woman that played Cat? Uh, Catwoman. I thought it. Oh, fucking um. Uh, can I have what's the her option? name? Um, certainly may. Well, she's in there, and uh, Robert De Niro's in it. Uh, yeah. Um, the flamboyant. He plays. He plays the gay captain. I've been corrected by the competitor. I've seen that movie so many times. B. James McAvoy, C. James Charlie Bell, Cox, man, come or D. Charlie Cox. Dude, I could have just even if I didn't know the answer, I just look at those other ones it's the because first time when I they because when they casted Charlie Cox, Charlie Cox. Right, as Daredevil, right. the first in a pump, the dude from oh, fucking man. Stardust. To me, it was the dude from Boardwalk Empire. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Stardust. He's on Boardwalk Empire for like two seasons, so thank you. That's that's what I remembered him most from. John Humphrey, what do the aliens give Danny Glover? A pistol, pirate like pistol. It's like, uh, yeah, from like a from Flintstock the, like pistol. Yeah, from oh, from like a uh, world. Well, no, sorry, um, F- a Flintstock a kind of pistol. Yeah. Well, oh, they just yeah, say pistol. a pistol or D a necklace. It's like, oh damn! You gonna bet? You better get. Well, smart. that guy was like yelling at Danny Glover. Give him a point. Oh, we'll never get another chance. He's like, oh, don't worry. So he's got it. Your last question in the world. Come on, get two points, bro. Fantasy sci-fi. Yes. A category you clearly did not want. Love it. I'm killing this. 1982 film Blade Runner. Hell yeah. <sighs> what is a Blade Runner? A Blade Runner is a person who tracks down replicants and like terminates. We, them. we, 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 we didn't even bother answering, answering <laughs> because we <laughs> obviously <laughs> know the answer. <laughs> we, <laughs> this was actually the very <laughs> last <laughs> NAMN we did yeah, like three, four weeks ago. Yeah, for those that don't know, not NAMN like is not anime movie night. It's when show and I get together to do desk, movie commentaries. And uh, that was the last movie we fucked up. Blade Runner, we literally just did. And before that, we actually did Nice Guys. Yeah. The first question is worth And Varnish is here for that one as well. Five for a nice guy's one? Points. No, for, um, for he was here for Blade Runner. He was here for Blade Runner. We did Blade Runner, and then we do uh, we did that movie Mr. with uh, Andrew, was, that kung fu are. movie with a uh, dude from uh, the Raid mm-hmm. that just came eight out. Two eight and twelve. Two eight and twelve. I will be asking Mr. Andreco the questions. John Humphrey, 
your three. Well, numbers. I murdered the fast sci-fi. Yeah, you did all right. <laughs> I'm sucking today. Dude, you should know these. We've seen the same movie. Well, I mean, I knew the answer to that Blade Runner question. And you knew Charlie Cox. Yeah, I knew Charlie Cox. Would they have accepted Daredevil? Disney films. In Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Where do the dwarves? A jewel mine. Yeah, they do. While they whistle. They're miners. That's correct. They mine. Okay. Hi ho, two points. Two points. All right. The next category was category number eleven. Scores and soundtracks. Woo! Scores and soundtracks for your three pointer. I wouldn't know this. I'm fifty fifty on this category. Which pop star originally recorded the song "Colors of the Wind" for Disney's Pocahontas? Oh. I want to, I want to say Selena, but no. Yeah, I'm terrible with this. Vanessa Williams. Yep. Yeah. Really, it was Vanessa Williams. Right, so yeah, it was Vanessa Williams. Humphrey is now down. To I remember this. the video. He needs to hit. I was like, God, she's hot. Five pointer <laughs> in order to throw it back to Mark Andreco and avoid the TKO. So it's it's going to happen, here. no doubt. In the category of yeah, movie Disney movies. music and shit, yeah, fuck that. What I don't got it. 2006 title character asks in prayer, precious father, why have you given me this desire to wrestle and then make me such a stinky warrior? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? What 2006 title character asks in prayer, Precious Father, why have you given me this desire to wrestle and then make me such a stinky warrior? It's that fucking Jack Black movie. Oh, uh, 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 uh Lucho, hey, Nacho no. Libre? Nacho no. Libre. Because he wasn't a warrior, Nacho Technical Libre. Knockout. What is it, Russell? What's the, what was the answer? The, the, they should say here. Tab was oh, the yeah. this is I haven't tab. seen. And that makes no dead. sense to me, but <laughs> I have this is not seen. Uh huh. This is a 2006 movie, though. They, they don't know what to think about this. This is Spinal Tap. They must have we'll made another one. Brought their a -game, but Andrejko doing Wait, it I don't understand. To win. John Humphrey, you know, sometimes the back. snow comes down in June. Sometimes the sun goes around the moon, and sometimes you just don't have it. He clearly didn't have his best performance here today. No, I think. Look, that first round was. And they, would, they would both say it. It was one of the worst first rounds we've ever seen. It was one of the worst things I've ever witnessed mm. in my life. But Andreco then showed up right. and did what he needed <laughs> I, to do. I, yeah, I, I, it was the second round by clearing out I the second round. I had no idea what the actual was. So. Uh, this is came out in the early 80s. <laughs> it's very hard as a competitor to be in round two and look at that scoreboard and see it's like 10 to 1 up there. It's a huge I heard it was an editing snafu with this episode, it, though, and it had to take it down and re-edit it. Really? Yeah, because something about it spoiled the outcome between Christian talk to Mark and, and Viviani, so when it's full, we'll talk to John Humphrey. The undercard a lot of match. drama going on in the Who office I don't know who won. Hey, movie trivia uh, show fans. Give me a heads I'm Grace up. Like, yeah, don't, don't Once again, here with the don't, amazing don't look Lions at the Den. Can I say, uh, first of all, you smell you'll... wonderful. Oh, do I really? Oh, yeah. shit. Well, thank yeah. you. I appreciate You're that. You're very welcome. Yeah, I had no Secondly, idea of the answer to that last You predicted that Andrejko <laughs> wouldn't even need to I think it's not any questions in round three. But he wasn't a warrior. I mean, obviously, he was like a he was like a monk. He was a monk, but he might have considered himself a warrior. I guess. Really solidified it. Not that kind of warrior. That's either that or Kung Fu Panda. Right. I mean, it certainly. It sounds cool like something Jack Black would say. Also, okay, so no, he had no desire to be a, to a wrestler at Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, but then That's round true. two, you came in hot. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I kind of wish that it had been a, bit, a little bit tighter. So he won. I always like going to the final round. I'll have to look round, at the comments after the and see what's the fun up. of it all. Getting, Fucking getting a photo finish is good. Maybe there's yeah, be a, 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 a little, a little thing at the end of the video. Of He's lying dead, motherfuckers, man. I don't know, right? Just keep <laughs> fucking winning. <laughs> that was the most you atrocious first it. round <laughs> ever <laughs> seen. Uh, and I've only just started watching this show. Show's relatively new to the showdown. He's run back a couple laps. Well, of okay, uh, so of the show itself, and uh, now? I've really only well, been watching this for like me, maybe a I month. Think my manager yeah. might have an idea or two. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I've watched a few I episodes mean, look, over here at my house, guy, and then he's starting to watch the playlist. Uh, and uh, the fake Sharon Stone, uh, Brianne Chandler, aka Miss <laughs> Movie. She's got like a thousand names. Wow. Apparently, she wants to play a uh, heel I, now. I can't believe I mean, they didn't know the Bill. She hasn't really faced anybody. Yo, no worthy so far. What I see is those two guys. I mean, yes. Or girls and guys, they can. Uh, that could be that could be your next challenge for sure. Yeah, I think so right now. Ratings, I mean, Humphrey, like this guy, he shouldn't have been in the ring with you, and that was clear. Right. Shit is he's genius. This shit just sell the show. He knew he was scared like within two terrible. seconds. That you know, was, was a little struggle. You know, <laughs> I think ultimately, a lot of those things were pretty easy. I'd love for you to play Miss Movies. Hopefully, we can take that Willie Kalinowski, and then we'll see how it goes. Shirley Theron. Oh, all right. Well, guys, if they were to ask the name of the character that played Snow White, I fuck, I forgot her name. Kristen Stewart. Yeah, Kristen Stewart. Okay. 
Kirsten, Kirsten Stewart. I don't know uh, how you pronounce however, it. However, I am a professional, so here we are. Who played the Huntsman? Humphrey and all of the members oh, of the Young Bucks, a fine upstanding okay, team good. here yeah. in the movie. Because I might have uh, now, probably forgotten the first name. I would have just said Hemsworth. To their elders, <laughs> is to he spooning him? <laughs> I don't know what this Come on, John. thing is about Grace that's very... Informal. Don't uh, need to stop being about hugs today, and being about winning, goddamn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it felt like it was a, it was a bit of a tr trial by fire, but that's kind of what I figured might happen. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you were making your singles debut up against Mark Damn, and John. Draco, who previously was that's in right. one that's of right, the highest scoring games in all of movie trivia showdown history. You got a zero and on now the board. On the lowest. That's hey, he was catching up in the second round. Is, uh, that, well, no, not that really. really is the silver lining, isn't <laughs> it? He got the Charlize <laughs> Theron. He did. He got the he got the Blade Runner. Trail of surprises where. Wherever I go, and then I, that's one I of them. Not, <laughs> he didn't even get the I Charlie mean, Cox one, even with the emotional, the, the multiple yeah. um, choice, did it? The multiple choice, yeah. You came out very, very strong, and I think everybody was I mean, it's very not excited a, to see how the match went today. You don't see Charlie Cox I, I that often leave, until uh, recently with Daredevil, but I think that, people uh, still struggle. I just think it's because I've seen Stardust probably at least three, four times. It's Matthew Vaughn's most understated film, man, for real. It's so good. You know, I thrive best when I think I'm going to do anything. <laughs> so, it is you know, a big expectations today, uh, like romance, like comedy, plan. fantasy type Everybody shit. It's in really the same suck. vein. As People the did want to compare and, uh, to um, Princess Bride. Princess Bride. It, it's definitely in the ballpark. Exactly. Of that movie. Exactly. Yeah. Nobody. Nobody say. even if knew you, you were going to be there. If you want to see a nice accompanying film to, swinging, to Princess Bride, I think Stardust is definitely up there. It's not as good as Princess Bride, but but it's got that same vibe and flavor. I'm so I'm so sorry. I mean, you know, you got this scene going, and how what's what's your what's your strategy going forward? Look, I love and respect all. All these guys up here, Hector Navarro. Cool. Hope you're out there watching some. He didn't die, but he's out there. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's my point out. Did he die? <laughs> Cops to make these things entertaining. Or Is he upstairs? Yo, he's he's really he's dying he for his his click to have a uh, win, man. Could be kind of. Yeah, at least they got a champ I'm in this table. To see that shit. holds. Uh, I can't win. I, I can't win with. Get your ass in the game. I can't all, win. No, we we with previously established team. like John Humphrey's definitely gonna get him next time, like oh, yeah. based on sure. his record yeah. here in the <laughs> Schmodown. Uh, the strategy. Yeah. Man. Look, look. I, no, I, the lovable just, losers. Calm down. You're not old enough. Listen. <laughs> You'll let him speak. The, the losers. Oh, he'll Jen, speak. You'll let him speak, man. He kills the mic called. every time, I'm bro. I'm sick of this shit, Emma. I can't win. I can't lose. Even when I lose, I lose. Pick better fucking stable. Bye. Stable mates. Manager. Oh shit, he's out. Oh, oh, damn. Yo, Cobby uh, Cobb 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 is out? I wouldn't want to like, play with these guys. RP, no, 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 come back. You got to lead us now. RP3? <laughs> You're all we got. <laughs> Take him to the, take him to the <laughs> winner's circle, RP3. <laughs> I'll see you. <laughs> RP3. RB. Three. I think you got it. <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen. Uh, Here's one guy. thing I want to say, all right? Yeah, I remember him yeah, talking. These lines, these are fucking up. The goddamn young bucks. Which one did they, he anymore. just show up recently? It was, it was the double toasted. Where, oh, uh, the double toasted yeah, one? Yeah, at the very end of that one. Fuck you. Fuck the lines, then. We're coming for you. Yeah. Wait, they lost in that, too. God, these guys suck. They're hurting. They're having no more fun. Huh. They catch leprosy in the loser's den. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yo, look, so look, look, yo, you're gonna be it's Daniel okay. in the lion's den. In the loser's Shots den. Fired at the lion's den. You know what? I hate to say it because I love the Kupster, loser's den. But, I feel like but they keep winning. Amanda, I know it's so frustrating. The they keep winning, As son. A renewed energy, and I no, am ready RB3. to see yo, Greg, you please. take on JTE RB3. They still have the tag belts. Issue that challenge. Patriots. Lions den. Yeah, they still got it. They're um the next match they have is. On Fourth of July I've been against top ten, since the that's Roka and Nose. And I think Whew. now with RB3 I cannot wait to see my boys win that we shit. We got something. Oh, now shit. back to you, yeah, Christian lose. and Mark. I don't know how to last As we them see, do it. you know, Grace, uh, maybe keep, they're, they're not, they're not, they're not pushovers. The, that much I can say. And, uh, but you see <laughs> my, uh, my prediction for that match is five, five matchup. The they're even. They're fucking and, even. And Mike I'm just rooting for um, people, top ten to win it. some lion in him yet. Uh, very interesting. And John Humphrey, obviously the the young bucks. Poor Copster. Copster just can't win. Um, <laughs> he's the Charlie Brown of the league, bro. I thought it was JTE, but I'm mistaken. Yes. Of course, Lucy being life. Uh, so there you go. There was the match. That was Yo, it. Ellis, what do you guys see. think? Go ahead and leave some comments on who you think is going to win next. As far as Mark Andrico, is he going to play Brianne Chandler? Is he going to play Kalinowski? What do you think? What will happen? Over to the Schmodown Movie Trivia Facebook page. Lots of stuff going on there. Go ahead and check that out. Check out the Reddit page. Check out the do. Schmodown Rundown. It's the Reddit all going page is where down. I see 
the schedule right there. Mark, I got it all up there, man. This is the schedule of upcoming episodes and stuff. That's where I get it from now. Thank you for joining us here at the Movie Trivia Showdown. Now we toss it over to the wild man, Josh McCook. It's not going to be much one today, but we still have. What's Josh going to do today? Yeah, how's he going to beat Cody up this time? What's up, movie trivia? Oh, shit, Cody. Oh, no. That's right. We had a good match today between Mark and Draco and Mark John Humphries. Who's Fuck the other Fucking Spider-Man, dude. Humphries, McGee. That's right. Now, Draco <laughs> came out on fire. He's one of the best competitors in the league. Been kind of stumbling a bit as of late. I do like the fact that they now, me. they share this shit yeah, now. He sure did. He lost to me. I hold on to him, though. Now, John Humphrey, though, it's, it's Give him a hold. He was the MVP of the free throw. <laughs> it's kind of tough to really get a good MVP. game, John. That's right. Uh, now, do you, is it just the weed that he's smoking? What's going on? Do you want to hold on to him? Like the put weed the that he's smoking? He does. If you want to do a trade for him, see if he gets a good value. He looks like the younger That's brother, right. uh, you know, both those decisions, Christian uh, Slater. Let us know what you're doing. Slow down <laughs> oh, fantasy. I'm a little Cody Slater Hull. in him. <laughs> I'm Josh Luka. That's right. We'll see you next time. I think time. it looks like Tom Holland, man. It looks a lot like a... He's got Christian Slater's, like, head and hair. Yeah. The main event. So this is we're watching the re-edit that got dropped. All right, let's see what we got here. Schmo, schmo, bro, schmo, a foolish, boring, or stupid person. Oh, Dirk. Wow. The shoe fits. He had to find the definition. Here we go. What's going on? Am I relaxed? Yes, I am. Hell yeah, man. Because the defense is up though. Not that this guy's a loser. But that I got nothing to lose. If you're gonna show that you're strong at movie trivia, <laughs> Yo, the last you take down the guy man. who asks nothing to lose. Trivia. I'm gonna take Don't down. Don't lose Christian. Come on. You're Why? the one that runs because the show. He thinks it's so easy. <laughs> well, it's real easy when you look at the answers all day. I actually have to oh, know this oh, stuff oh, off the top of my head. So let's see how you can it's do. Like sit down toe to toe <laughs> with the Beast Man, the Beast Master, the Beast. Uh, you can't be the Beast one, and the, the Beast growling, Master, bro. The you gotta pick one, bro. The Growler Son. It's like the one Christian thing is the Beast Master here. Pretty much either TK. Who's the actor that played the Beast Master? We know that, right? So I'll be the first one to knock him. Oh no no, he was in V. He sure was. Did that. Oh TKO. damn it! Yeah, I lost one match. Oh, lost that match that question never shows up. I'm done. Yeah, I need multiple, see multiple choice. choice. <laughs> talking about that because it's <laughs> I can really see Mark, unlikely. Mark it's a something. Million to one shot. Fuck. And you know who's lost more matches than his, I his have? His face is fresh Christian in my mind. Harlow. It wasn't Mark. He either knocks him out. I almost want to say Mark uh, or Hamilton, but no, he's the, the guy from Clash of the Titans, the original. Because darts have a nasty tendency to fall down pits and die. For me, I'm going to be on this show every week. <laughs> I'm gonna be saying and introducing next. Do you lose? Yo, you can play JT again, and <laughs> you can play someone else. I mean, I, I, I could put you up against the, the, the guy at, at the coffee bean right now. He wants a shot. Christian, I Harlow, do. I want a I shot have too. A message for you, and I'm gonna say it entirely in growls. Growl, 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 growl. Growl. Bibbs, that's got the growl. Growl, 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 I did see that one when they got well, rom com and no one knew shit. No one knew nothing. <laughs> and I'm sitting I'm here like I didn't know either. Which is weird. I didn't including me, I didn't know nothing. I was. I just wanted to call them out. I was fucking. But you decided I was dying in the window. That is like the one the genre bullshit. I don't. Really so growl, growl. That and Sandra Bullock growl, movies. Growl, growl, growl. <laughs> Fuck off, Chuck. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna shave your head. You're gonna go to sleep, and you're gonna get T K O. Take that. I'm gonna shave my head and take a nap, bro. I can't wait. Good shit. Yeah, Bibbs, um, I saw I What's saw What's the deal I, with the growls? I, it's his gimmick because he's the fucking beast. I saw Bibbs on um on a show called <laughs> I saw him on a show called Movie Games is on Screen Junkies Plus and he Welcome fucking aced that entire episode. Yo, my boy Ken is on the mic. Good shit. One and all. I am nearly Mark Ellis over Shout here. Ellis, is of Ken Napsock Kenny. What a match we have. Always today. Somebody I shirt on their suit. Versus always. somebody I'm acquainted with. Defense is with Dale. Right, right. I know Christian too. Now this is a great Christian. match between William the Beast, Bibiani, and Christian the Commissioner Harloff. There is a lot of stories to this coming in, Mark. That's right. I mean, look, look, look everybody knows that I'm going to be rooting for Christian in this matchup. There is Me no too, secret bro. about that. He is one of my best friends. I would have been the Godfather to his daughter if not for my prior record. But Ken, <laughs> yeah. when you 
you look at a William Bibiani, Christian Ellis, Harloff has been doing? on this revenge tour for a long time. Yeah. This might be the tallest mountain he has to climb because Bibiani's nickname is the Beast be a tough for match. a reason. Absolutely. Bibiani Bibbs was touted is... as the next great thing. A lot of people looked he's, at him as a future a champ of, when uh, he scored the most points in his debut. He didn't potential. miss did they a question. The nope. from he, there was a lot Marvel? of hype, but then he, he lost <laughs> to JT, which like is kind of like missing the bus on the way to the swap meet. And that was in the season premiere this year, but he bounced back with a TKO over Dewberry, and then he challenged Chris. Dewberry it's a, interesting you say win, that though. Viviani scored the most points because Christian it was the category scores win. in soundtracks <laughs> that fell the beast against JT. That happens to be his strength for Christian George oh. Hall. We don't know if we're going to see that yeah, in round you're... two. Oh. I think that this is going to come down to round three because both of these men, whether it's the commissioner, Darth Harloff himself, or the beast, they know how to play some ball. Absolutely. Do not be lulled into thinking Christian doesn't know how to play this game. Oh, he he created does. this game, sure. <laughs> One and, of the best uh, he matches in all of this uh, series. He is, is a uh, former team is Roka champion. Versus he's won two straight matches. That shit was he's great. avenged two Roka losses, one to move, one, one, one to Signor, <laughs> and his <laughs> TK or KO'd every oh, one of Roka his five did it Roka played that uh, match Harlow blindfolded. I hear that teammate he had uh, his was match a against, pretty good player uh, in his own right. Enough last year. Do you need We're sight throw in this game? No, but he did it. Champion Booker T with his own take. I just What's up, hey, Booker? I mean, <laughs> still, still, I, 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 thought, I thought it was impressive because, you know, you want to look around, you know, I, I, I would, you know, being blinded is kind of putting yourself in a vulnerable What's position up, mentally. I don't know, it kind of helps you focus. Yeah, that's what that's what Roka ended up saying. Uh, Boca Tito. Helps you uh, access that crap now. in your head. We got my man, Christian Harloff, going to be taking on... The you see impressions you telling you he's, he's better get than the you. Shucky ducky quack quack, quack man. Good. You know what? Some people say yeah, so, much, so many ducks to be great. Well, we're gonna find I think Christian has the most knockouts in the league too. He's going up against somebody that might be boy big Christian boy, Harlow, big. the creator, the founder, the man that knows more than anyone. The mischief Christian maker. Harlow, who knows? Like Christian Harloff knows. He knows everything. <laughs> you know what, my big guy? He knows them schmoes. It's gonna be Christian Harloff to go out here and do it like it's supposed to be done. Make him pay, my son. Make him say daddy. <laughs> I don't want none. And I if Booker's going for Christian, I might actually be hey, right guys, this time. Make sure you check out some reality of wrestling. We well, he always picks the winner. New episodes Booker has a pretty good, uh, he has a pretty good uh, track record of picking winners. And I'm out. I'm usually on the opposite side of Booker T for some reason. I Nothing against you see there, Booker but T himself I, I always, is like predicting Booker T. I'm going to have to disagree Harlow, with you, bro. But, and then I end up, I end up yeah. to get the have w, an egg on my face. The commissioner, uh, man. I've, I'm, it's going to be win. very close. It's going to be somewout of a bloodbath. But the winner of this match, close. there is a big stipulation, a big something riding on this match. The winner oh, of this match faces Jeff Snyder at Collider Collision for a possible title shot down the line. They, oh. these, these men are ranked very high. Snyder, okay, right a great so the winner of this gets to go up against the champ. Well, he will be no. well, going Jeff against Josh McCuga at a wedding coming to you guys shortly. Jeff in the meantime, Kenny, I usually go to, to be able to challenge for this, but uh, he's competing, so, so I don't put too much pressure on you. He is going to be able to get a title shot, and the winner of this match will be his opponent in that title shot match. For the introductions here today. For the belt. Let's hope so. Does that have a straw on it? It has, it's a no, sippy R2, cup. R2-D2 sippy, on. man. That little droid has everything. <laughs> Let's hear today's competitor's intro. That's why he's been around for so long. He's got all the attachments. Introducing first. Well, he slept in that human. He did, right? Representing <laughs> the he took four a nap, bro. horsemen. With a record Force awakens. of two wins. He had his little two seconds one defeat in uh, row one. one knockout. He is, is the I, I'm hearing that dude's voice saying, "Game the seven over." <laughs> Here is. You want to play a game? The Beast, Bibiani. Oh shit! Is that Voigt go? Yo, Voigt. It was a oh shit! Oh damn! Yo, he's oh, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> Yo, get him! The Beast missing his arm. Is that is that the Chase girlfriend? <laughs> Yo, better run. People that would cheer for you, beast. Yo, good shit, Bills. I don't think any of that is covered in our collider. Bills, we give you 4.5 for that, sir. 4.5. Yeah, he yeah, he actually of did kind of the dance of. Uh, we have <laughs> insurance forms here on Ken's computer <laughs> yeah. and chainsaw wounds. Bills had to come out in that deal. orange jumpsuit. Uh, Mr. Bibiani, if you would sit in your correct position, that would be fantastic. You may want to sit where your name is. The beast cannot read, but he can kill a lot of our fan base. All right. And his opponent. 
Christian. Hell yes! Yo, Christian. Yo, that's the joint the pick right there. Oh, shit, did not do a song with a mother that condones violence? I know, right? She condones ass weapons. Overpowering! I'm towering! I see you, Christian. Good shit, good shit. Oh, oh, yo, we got bitches. Yo, Cody? KO? You knocked him out? Oh, yo, this list of victims? Yo, Inman? <laughs> yo, Makoga? Yo, fucking sick door? Yo! <laughs> now that I saw the people he knocked out, it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. Oh! <laughs> Yo, them, the those photo copies were in color. <laughs> it certainly is. These guys are ready. Money to was spent, bro. Down. Are you ready? All right, Christian, I'll give you a 4.5 for that. I'm that was slide strong. My computer right over to you so we can start this game. It, is it was a 3.5 till those bitches came up. <laughs> Here we go. Competitors, now in round one, you're gonna get a series of eight questions from eight different movie sure genres. I'm not blocking you Each in the question chat. is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. Right, there's no stealing. As soon as you hear the question, this must be you this write will down be a much better fucking on the round one. I hope. When we ask you to Whoa. answer the question, please reveal your written answer. Uh, as anything's you better than that other round one. Was it two microphone. and one? And uh, Mr. <laughs> Bibby, are you ready to play? Oh, that shit hurt. Yeah, he's thinking about it. Thinking deep. Thinking. Yes, he is ready. He is he ready, is ready after some deliberation. Christian, say no. uh, Christian Harloff. Go for it. <laughs> right. Big fan of Stallone, isn't he? And that what that was? Question yeah. comes from, from uh, a possible what, Stallone from Rocky IV? category, the realm of action adventure. And your question is thus. All right. In the movie Commando, what is the name of the island where the evil dictator is oh, holding fuck. John Matrix's We did an NAMN movie on this. We did, but it was, oh, no. You ever see a what, they, what was the name of the island? Your daughter held captive by um, I know Christian so, knows this fucking uh, answer because he loves that goddamn movie. Oh, I love it too, but I can't remember the name of the movie, man. I can't, I can't remember. Five, What's that? Four, three, There's two, more to it, I think. Oh, it's like a down, fake fucking right, down, South down, American and, uh, nation. Mr. Bibiano, we're going to go to you first. Valverde? That Val is Verde. Wow. Well, I'm over here thinking fucking Sol Verde or something. Not. <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> remembered the name. His, that that his is Minutia, bro. Not show the answer. He wrote I, it's just, one point for Bibiani, and he's up 1-0 early in the match. I guess because I saw it so many times, and it kind of sounds Spanish, shit like that kind of sticks in my head. How many you were closer to it than I was. Merida have? In Pixar's three. three, I never seen it, yeah. but I seen the trailer. Three brothers, the hell and back. <laughs> I don't watch three fun. triplet brothers. It's not that fun. Okay. Hey, yeah. Damn. You, you can skip it, Kev. You can skip Brave. Uh, I, 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 so don't three, bother watching Brave. Two, uh, yeah, you can skip one, it. <laughs> three. Christian yes. Harloff goes first. He is correct with three. He's on the board. Back on the board. I am also correct with three. The <laughs> beast, <laughs> Bibby. That's a, she said she said hashtag growl right, growl. Yes, he always we does move that. move on to Terrible. the realm of fantasy science on, fiction. Oh, I know this. And your question is simple. <laughs> Here we Who go. directed Children of Men? Alfonso. <laughs> Alfon Alfonso Cuaron? Yeah, you, you sure it's him? Yeah, because um, I, cause he didn't he just do a movie? Yeah, well, he did Gravity. He did, of course, Harry Potter, the third one. I just remember yeah, that Alfonso Cuaron. Yeah. Children of Men will always come up. Yeah, Mr. Bibiani. Alfonso Cuaron. Yeah. One point. Alfonso Cuaron. Good Good shit. Right. Stay in the game, Christian. Stay in the game. I see you. I see you. Let's go. I only know because that was probably my first movie I ever saw. Give crowd some cocaine. He did a Spanish okay. language movie. Don't make me growl, you. I don't know if, uh, if he did City of God. I think or the that crowd is just—they're focusing. Mark, the crowd really. This is a tense match. Ken, I, I think the Whew. crowd has finally acknowledged that, that is not a real chainsaw, and they're in no real danger. <laughs> <laughs> really and I just saw it. another movie with that question, same John, actor comes in it. From the uh, world of King drama. Arthur. <laughs> oh, you yeah, totally him? A few no. good men. Oh, what order? Oh, fucking Does Jack Nicholson. Give his did you order the code red? Private Santiago. It's the code red, right? Yeah. Did you order the code red? I you go goddamn what I did! <laughs> yup. Okay, four, four, three, two, and This was on TV the other day. Christian Harlock. That would be code red. Yes. <laughs> That's why I... <laughs> I remember they had, um... Uh, didn't I not have a question about this? Did you order the code red? 
Yeah, he even, he even said it the way oh, Tom Cruise Cruz said it. Not handling the truth <laughs> you got that right, dude. Three, I will and destroy I, your microphone. Because that movie had a lot of fucking <laughs> actors in it, man. Like, Neither Sutherland was in there. Bacon. They had a fucking stable actors in that movie. And the one Comedians. actor they didn't know was in there was on... Comedians. Cuba Gooding. Oh, Cuba Gooding's in that? Oh, yeah, that's right. He is in A Few Good Men. That came up as a question in the showdown. Of the film A Fish Called Wanda... Please. Also wrote the screenplay. Oh wow! I don't know how to write. <laughs> yeah, because it wasn't Kevin Klein that wrote it. So no, it was John John Cleese yeah. all fucking day. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, and one. He Mr. was the guy. He, he played John what? Cleese? That is correct right. for yeah, one. He Chris played Carla. like a judge in that movie, right? He tried to trick us. He tried to get us. Dude, that was like my mother's favorite movie. Wow. They don't seem like probably has your favorite scene in there. And I have a friend that was like that was like his favorite movie. You fucking love Jamie Lee Question. Curtis and uh, Tim Allen. When she gets half naked. Klein, didn't man. Klein get nominated? Didn't Klein win an Oscar? Son, who's been raised oh, in the jungle, jungle, the fucking jungle. He brings back to his home in yeah. New York City. Fucking jungle, jungle the jungle. I remember that comedy. stupid fucking trailer. I remember that one because that was the beginning of the end of Tim Allen's career. Pretty much that in big trouble. I was raised by Will Smith. He was in a lot of good movies. Three. Two it was and my household name. Fucking in the jungle quest. to jungle. No, it's jungle Incorrect. to jungle. A good guess. Sounds it's like that'd be a close. fun movie. Jungle to jungle. Jungle to jungle. I remember in the trailer that oh. joke about how he was going about how he had a big penis. And the beast is up. <laughs> I'm like, really? Four, we this is a family movie. To your penultimate category. <laughs> <laughs> That's that is the right answer. Yeah. Oh man! Hold up, letting out all that emotion. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Tim. Your sorry. next category is from the world of horror thriller. Oh, okay. I know this. And your the question is: This is not Christian's best category. The ghost dimension is an entry. I don't oh, know which this. It's um. Random. Well, horror franchise. How many horror franchises Par out paranormal, there? Paranormal. Paranormal activity. That sounds about right. Yeah, it's paranormal activity. It's the. It ain't thirteen ghosts because there was only one movie. Yeah, only one. <laughs> found out not more than half hour ago. <laughs> Five. Hey, cool. Ghostbusters. I, you know what's Dude, funny is I answer most of the horror red. questions. Mr. Viviano. I'm trying to shock. the crappiest paranormal activity movie. Yeah, I right. would agree with yeah, that right. sentiment. One point. Christian, Christian Harloff. You struggled through it. paranormal activity and I wrote Insidious. Oh, oh no. Oh, Insidious. Oh, I don't think the Insidious oh, movies have any kind of subtitles. Uh, this is Insidious, Insidious, Insidious note, 2 and 3. Viviani has not missed could be a wrong, question but I don't think yet. Insidious has been He is going for a perfect round. In which case, he will get a bonus question. He will get a bonus question if he answers all eight questions. If he also wins a fiat. <laughs> no one wants that card. It's in the back and it is running. Oh, wow. Still so bad. He'll be, the first, he'll be the first person since they instituted that rule to win the, the bonus category. question if he gets this right. In Back to the Future, George McFly fell out peeping. of a tree yeah, in the middle of the Lorraine. Screen. Peeping on Why Lorraine. Was he yeah. in the tree? Lorraine? I fell out of a tree. Yeah, every time I, I think of Lorraine, I think of like the way Biff would say, Lorraine! <laughs> You'll find out in five seconds. <laughs> Lorraine five, Bates McFly! Four, Damn it, Lorraine! Three, Two and one. Christian Harlow. Peeping. He's a peeping Tom. Yeah. That's correct. correct for five points, Mr. Yeah, Viviani. Peeping on Marty's mom. Oh, yeah, yeah, peeping, on, peeping, peeping on, on Marty's mom. mom. We have a perfect round. Name is Lorraine. Perfect round. Perfect. Perfect. Round one of the perfect. Those Christian seven golden Harlow letters. Had a very good round with <laughs> five <laughs> points, but Viviani oh, you seems to be back to the beat. Oh, five. <laughs> and you've got a perfect score in round one. You're awarded a bonus question. Right, this go. is to you and only to you. You don't need to write it down. You can simply verbalize your answer. And your question is: I got most of these. What year was the classic comedy Yo, it would have Caddyshack? To be it's 1983. 1983. Breathing in and out. I think it's 83. I think, or 84, but I think it's 83. It's definitely um before eighty five. One. That is incorrect. We're right. looking for nineteen hundred and eighty. Oh, yep. For a wow. You but still, Mark, you... that was an impressive <laughs> showing. How did you know? You know what, um, you can, because I was alive. Question, <laughs> because all right, I think it was to USA. Oh, you know, USA or TBS, the they wheel wheel did a fucking um, anniversary of Caddyshack a couple of years ago. Right on. This wheel. Damn. Has 12 so that's categories a close answer. on it, Good 10 of which are movie It's not that hard. I just think of Bill Murray. And yeah. Bill Murray was in Ghostbusters that came out in, what, 85? Yeah. Question in and this was definitely one of his early points. films. Early if in you his want career, to check yeah. the multiple choice, Yet it was the after uh, goes Animal down House, to one which was point. like 79. Is Bill Murray was in Animal House? No, but um, <laughs> some people from Animal House If you don't like the category you spin, you are awarded a mulligan. Mr. Bibiani, keep in mind that stealing is Belushi was in Caddyshack. Belushi was in Caddyshack. Charlie Sheen Or what like to Ch Chevy Chase wasn't Chevy in, Chase in, wasn't in, in uh, Animal House. I'll spin first. 
Viviani going to spin the first. The Beast is oh, going to spin first. Always I spin like that first. Strategy. It puts pressure Always spin on first. No, I just remember they Let just celebrated an anniversary. Turn, turn, turn. Tell an anniversary on USA or whatnot about it. Maybe even a it's all right. He just doesn't want scores. <laughs> Whoa, it's not an Arnie. You don't want to pick that, bro, because that is a, now, that's, is a, that, that's a Christian Harlow special right there. Yeah. How's the Beast going to fare for Viviani? Don't tell him Christian. Don't tell him Christian strength. Oh, you know one of those questions is probably Cobra. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, dude. I don't want him to steal. I'm going to try spinning again. Yeah, Let's cover the one where he had the line. Your disease. I have the cure. Some shit like that. Yeah, that's it my is joint. Land on. Scores oh, and soundtracks oh, 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 oh. is working. Oh, no. Oh, yo. <laughs> so William Viviani, look, this he's known be, for his funny quip be right before a movie Viviani, begins, yeah. and sometimes while the movie is There's playing, so many screening, it's a broad, are we it's a broad see category. More of that knowledge here today? Super broad. All right, you're gonna get four questions, William. Here is the first one down the pipeline. Name the '90s comedy with the tagline "Trust Me." Oh, liar, 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 liar. Damn, yeah, you said it quick. <laughs> I was just gonna I mean, say. I, mean, I was just gonna <laughs> guess that. Excuse <actually. laughs> me. Oh my god. Probably 90s not. comedy. Your overconfidence may be your weakness <laughs> or might be your strength. I am better wearing your friends is yours. I, I gotta read these questions before he reads them. I have no friends. Yeah, he's, he's it's super bad. What state does McLovin's fake driver's license <laughs> state that he is from? We have all the advantage by reading the question. Yeah. I remember <laughs> that <laughs> shit. <laughs> burned it to my brain. Perfect. Yep. Question three. In Zombieland, Eisenberg and Harrelson find a hostess truck Snowballs. full of snacks. What kind of snack can you uh, tumble in out? Was it really? Yeah, cause, dude, I hate snowballs. He I hates hate it, remember? I fucking the hate shit him. what he says is exactly what I hate about snowballs. Hate most the coconut. That's wow. Two more points. God damn, yeah. Bims. Because remember, he was wow. looking for Twinkies. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah and that first hostess yeah, strike they found was nothing but snowballs. <laughs> that is the most four, fucked up shit I've ever seen in my life. Beast. Who played Gloria, the nymphomaniac? Who oh, that's, um, I don't know. Fucking, um. Fucking, she looks like what's her face? Um, Isla yeah. Fisher. Isla Fisher. That's yeah. correct. Two more points. I, 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 and that's a perfect She looks like Amy round. Adams. That's Two, a running Jen. joke. Okay. But uh, they, uh, uh, Brady Joe, they crashed in. Oh, no. I have paid attention to the so one time I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. She was also he in it. Isla Fisher was also in I just remember Will Ferrell. Big spin, big spin coming in. That's all you remember. Yeah. I don't even remember Will Wilson, right? I seriously don't even remember the point. Woo! Do you want to stay, bro? Do you want to stay? This is his category. Did this. This He's really is his. Keep it. I, can't, and and, and Bibiani can't steal it. It's a strategy on Christian's part because even if he misses, on, Christian, the man, Beast has shown that he is at least twos, mortal bro. in this world. I need Absolutely. to see it. Christian, Yo, that score, though. Questions in the category. Oh. Yes, sir. Scores and soundtracks. He, needs, he got it rigged. He, he needs Tom a straight Zimmer eight. Won his he knows how to spin the Academy bill. Award for Best Original Score for uh, Inception. Inception didn't. Oh, win? Words. Wow. Yes. Lion King. <laughs> he did the Lion King. I totally forgot he did Lion King. I Holy shit! I don't know Nine Disney. Shit. Holy game. shit! So if Christian can maintain, so Disney is your blind spot. Oh no! Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Round three. Round three. Oh, I have to always forget that Hans Zimmer did this shit. And performed by. I, I believe, believe I can fly. fly. How? Who does not I know this? I believe I can fly. He's gonna sing everyone. Wow. He's gonna Yo. sing everyone. Just feeling the Holy Ghost. All right. Question three: Who composed the score for 1960s oh. <laughs> The Magnificent yeah. Seven. Seven? I have no idea. I don't think it's any of Motokone. Shitballs. Yeah, I know, right? Elmer Bernstein. That is correct. <laughs> wow. wow. Wow, that one what? even impressed me. Good shit. Never he impressed knows me. the end. <laughs> <laughs> Question four, final one in the category for you, Christian. What group recorded Don't You Forget About simple Me? Simple Mind. Makuga would stop right? being my friends if I didn't say Simple Mind. That Good is shit. correct. Wow. Yo, just swept it, man. Good stuff. Don't you Christian, that's what's up. Good stuff. I only know that because Everybody a little disappointed he didn't sing the Simple Mind's tune. Uh, yeah, it, it is actually, well, I believe. That. We also don't yeah. have the rights. We, we, don't, <laughs> we don't have the rights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we don't, don't have do the it. rights past that point. <laughs> <laughs> we are yeah, I only knew half that mind, shit, dude. Are, I did not know that Lion King one. Because I probably would have said Inception as well. But I don't think it won. Did it? I don't think it won. It probably nominated, but it didn't win. No, that was the year that fucking... That uh, the social network. Oh yeah. Because yeah, right. I remember, I said, dude, Inception got robbed that year. The Although the soundtrack was no, good. Yeah, the soundtrack for that movie is amazing. But yeah. I can't think of a uh, uh, a soundtrack uh, where I could just pop in that in and so fully orchestrate it. Yeah. Like Hans Zimmer's 11, fucking Inception. Twenty-two and thirteen. 
Yeah, you can ride to that okay. shit. 22. Oh, my score, huh? And 13. All right, here. This, this is and it. This, this is for all the marbles. Uh, let's go 16. Uh, 17. And Mark, I'll go backwards. I'll, I'll do... He did the line. Oh, so, he, <laughs> went, he went Joe. Yeah, How did he do the magnificent Brett Favre, Interesting that. quarterbacking decision. Listen, that is, his, that is his category right there. Yeah. So I go first. Yeah. yeah. All right. Harloff is up first. This is a two-point question. All right, man. And that should have brought him back. 16. Confirm yes, it, right? That's, that's a little distance. category called Star Wars. Norm he needed. Uh, Star Wars. Oh, that, that's his category, too. I think the crowd too. is disappointed. Why does Star this Wars get its own? Yo, the game is rigged. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> two, <laughs> two. Oh, you must be getting that shit uh, right now in the comments. Is, who is the proprietor of the tavern? Oh no! Fuck if I know her Fucking, um, in the Force. Uh, I like Mas that. I love that. Mas Kanata, yeah. The host of Jedi Council. I don't. I don't know these names. Those names go in and out. My fucking. Yeah. Yeah. I, I knew that one. Seven, these new names are very hard to remember. I like Han Solo. Barney and Sly. Oh, get the fuck out! Are you serious? Yo, it's coming up. Millhouse here. Three point question to put him in the. Lead. All right, here this we go. was a tagline to what last action hero. Film. Oh, last action this hero. This isn't the movies anymore. Oh, last action hero. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Three more points. That's Good right. stuff. Good stuff. That's right. Making Woo! the beast. Every swear. time last action and hero shows up on the shit, you, know, you know it. Lead over the beast, and we move over to Bibiani's first oh, question. No. Underrated movie. Question, uh, it bombed. The tank. Eleven, bombed which hard. is the category this will tie it up. actors and actresses. If he gets two this. point question for you, what two comedic actors teamed up for? Oh man, Silver Gene Wilder and fucking Richard, Richard Pryor. Pryor. Yeah, yo, no evil. Uh, Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor. He grew up on them fucking classic. movies. You better answer that goddamn movie question. Thank you. Those are Man, that was movies. easy, though. Both yeah. gone. And now we go back <laughs> to gone. Christian Harlock. Fucking great, Christian, man. Uh, this will be a five Hurts point question. Hurts my feelings, question. they're gone. I'm amazed that I'm remembering names. Usually you, I fucking uh, choke on I'm names. I'm fucking Did terrible you? with names. Uh, unless uh, I but Gene doubt Wilder. Come on. gonna strike out. But stranger things have happened. Hey, we've right. seen craziness Christian in has to get round this. three. Can Christian Yep. Pressure on here, Christian. You pick number four. The category is action adventure. The one incredible. Wow. Yo, oh, he made some tight. great picks. Five point question. I know, right? Oh my god. Apologies. Will Apologies. lands on his shit. Say, the Bond girl, Pussy Galore, appears in what Bond movie? Goldfinger. Right? I want to say you're right. It's either that or Dr. No. Goldfinger? That's correct. Five point wow. Damn. Seriously, that's the easiest five point question I've ever heard. Uh, <laughs> that is pretty fucking easy. Shit, easy questions. Shut I, your I didn't miss the question. I didn't know for okay. sure. I honestly Bibiani didn't. So to shut his I'm not that. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that much of a Bondian. Mother, right, I really so hope you're not watching this one. Huh. You could have guessed octopus. Yeah. That would that would have been that would have been the, the obvious movies. choice. Now, if he misses movies, this and gets the next one, it's sudden death. In the movie That Thing You Do, the band The Wonders hail from which state? I know that uh, my boy, uh, I, we just talked about him earlier today. Um, I guess it's state, Michigan. <laughs> fucking. No, no. I don't know. I'm going to just say Idaho. Fuck it. Why should it be like Boston? Ohio? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> that, that is incorrect. Ohio is not the answer. It's Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. What was the answer? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yo, yo Makuba, act like everybody should see that very, fucking very movie. Close. Yeah, so no. Ohio, oh, please. I don't, I don't even remember right. if I saw it. it I, I, I remember clips of it. No, Steve's on to this. This will send it in yeah. overtime. Yes, that's, that's all I remember. Could, uh, and of course, sudden death. You know, Ooh, Hanks. Ooh, yeah. Sounds and, scary. And Tom Hanks' son is in it. Number 13 was your selection. That is the category of war. Okay. If he gets question. this, it's fucking sudden death. In what 80s war film does Bruce Willis oh. play an emotionally battered Vietnam <laughs> war vet? I'm mine, but I don't know. He did other movies in the 80s? No, all I remember is, was it a... Hudson Hawk? No. <laughs> was it a fucking Blind Date and Die Hard? Uh, yeah. Um, He was in something in the Born sun? The no. But that was not no, in the that's, 80s, that's, though. And your winner yeah. is Christian Horloff. <laughs> wow, he came back. What? Yo, that's how this fucking third round is. That fucking wheel and those categories he picked. <laughs> Good shit. Oh, something country? Oh man, I gotta run that back. Fuck. I gotta look that up. A perfect round one. But two and three totally went Harloff's way. They sure did, man. Harloff gets a Fury victory because that's what I want to say right now. 
Guess whose knockout uh, uh, streak is over? Oh. Uh, hey, hey, it's still one, though, right? <laughs> Good stuff. I am still impressed with both of these competitors. Mm -hmm. Big win for Christian, yeah, that was a but the question. Beast was a perfect. The uh, 80s the Bruce Wayne? Yeah, he is yeah. still I, I, a beast to be reckoned. What the hell was the throwing, answer? He threw seven Something innings, but Christian the, Harloff the managed lookout, to steal the game from him yeah. in round three. With both the winner, Christian, and the loser, the they Beast, is our own Emma Fife. Take it away, Emma. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Emma Fife here with the commissioner, Christian. Wow. I've seen most I, uh, of them. You know, you were down for a Because I know he was like in a. I'll tell you what, I am never going into a war these movie, but it was like something sun. Because I wasn't worried about this match. I, I was. I assumed I was going to get as an S U N, and then S -S he <laughs> was perfect again, like he mm -hmm. was against Andrejko, and I'm like, this motherfucker yeah. scored. He's not going to miss. I it. just saw Bruce Willis and the other day. He was the in third round. He. he Shit, what was he that one thing with the uh, my categories? Because he robot I was bodies one, two, and three. That's what I was gonna screw. It. I'm going just one, two, fucking old surrogates. I chose my score yep. of thir yeah. thirteen. I was on so TV. You know what? I'll choose sixteen. That movie's not good. And I just said good. seventeen and three, no, and I was no, like, oh, "That's random." And I got lucky. <laughs> I mean, it definitely All right. worked out um, in your favor. You yeah. In country is what it's called. Strong. 1989. He, he played Emmett Smith. Well, which is certainly what carried <laughs> in the country. At the tail end of the eighties, guy. Oh, that's cute. Made it, but barely. Can happen here in the movie trivia showdown. It's true because honestly, I don't. I have too much to do. With this collider collision, I no doubt, want, right? I don't want to be in it. Um, Bibiani's <laughs> awesome. He is such a character for this league. So you get to be at he your own big a, event. <laughs> I, I, just on a personal level, he's a good dude. So I did a lot of the first so round. Seriously, one. and I thank him for that too. And I know that he's bummed about this loss. I only knew half the He'll be playing the again. I know he will. But category. now I got to worry about that stinking. I had Patriot. no idea how Zimmer did like Yeah, yeah. Bibiani, I have to say, is definitely a first to be reckoned with. Kind of confidence going into it. I mean, he's unshakable. That must be intimidating. So much love for that movie. I have no love for that. Just, so I, you're telling me Zimmerman is the one that did just was that Akuma Matata, whatever that song is? No, because the and, um, he did. Yeah, Hans Zimmer I, did the score for Lion King. A lot, a lot of oh, who but the, the, the person who wrote the did, uh, music was but, uh, uh, yeah. Now, like it or not, was a uh, fucking uh, um, Elton John uh, and oh, another cat. I knew it was coming. Oh, 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 yo, look at this guy! I thought you didn't want to do interviews with me. That's what I'm saying. Why you here, bro? Exception. Give me the mic, fight. Christian Harlan, congratulations. Just you wake up from your car? <laughs> Something like that, man. <laughs> you slayed the beast. I whacked the godfather. Nice. Like we're going to head to head. This is the match I've wanted since you I started. You woke up and walked out movie. the Kia? Yeah, you have. You've been calling me out for a very long time. Uh, I get crawl texted me all the time how much I want to title the match, and it's pretty ironic <laughs> that you actually have to beat me in order to get one. You are Yo, I'm going to be sneaking anime stuff way, into her uh, her attire all the time. I thought that may have been a Gundam thing. but Darth Harlan. Well, look, I'm not collider collision. There's nothing I can say. I'm not going to start saying that I'm going to wreck you or destroy you. That might have been a short eyes on the ball hat, I don't think so. You had the gold, and and I... Yeah, dude. Listen, we're gonna we're gonna. Same go here. There's bro. a respect. I mean, Bibiani just had two perfect rounds there. I I didn't count you. Yeah, out, he got a perfect round from the get go. And, it was you ball was in his court too. almost a but whole now, match. You ran into a roadblock with me. And, you uh, fucked up in that second round. Yeah, man. July. What was the question she got? Get lost when we finished my interview. Yeah. All right. Who um? Who the bibs or? Oh, he got comedy. He got comedies, and he did well. He got them all. Liar, liar. The Hawaii. Did he get Hawaii? That's absolutely true. Yeah, yeah. He got he got Hawaii. He got, he got all the answers. What was the other two questions? I think he had to go multiple choice on one question. Congratulations again on your win today, and we'll be right back. Was like William the? Was the Caddyshack one of them? Yeah, Caddyshack was and in there. And we are back. I don't know that Christian didn't get a chance Beast, to steal. Bibiani, so. It just didn't quite happen for you today, Oh, my man. God. How ridiculous was this? I, I was very surprised <laughs> Yo, by the result. The third round surprised. got you, bro. I was surprised that Christian Harloff got the easiest third round questions I think I've ever heard. <laughs> he all, picked all categories. He's a master. I bet you people are probably saying in the comments, how no, man, this is his Collusion. <laughs> That's that's just handing it to him on a little. But you know what? Christian did not hey, get first pick. He got the, second pick because, because he was well not been, in the lead at the time. Is this the tagline? To press the button and made the wheel stop. <laughs> that, that might, that might as well <laughs> that's how it works. I, I mean, there is a certain amount of, of luck. Your whole is open. <laughs> Picked some good numbers, but you know you you lucked out with the category. Just joke, because you know he's probably getting shit in the comments. But you know he takes a lot of pride in not rigging the game. Yeah, absolutely. I saw him get pissed about that shit too, and rightfully so, man. Because if it's the one part of the game that's oh, the legit, yeah. from that thing you do. Where's this hat? Hi. Hey, everybody. Uh oh, yo, oh, no. Hey, guys. You did great. Don't feel ashamed. Don't feel ashamed. You, you got, got this, bro. 
I beat him. It's not. Where's the fourth one with the smoking jacket? You came close. You came close. Uh huh. You you know you have things you need to work on now, just like when you lost to JTE. Mm -hmm. So just you know. Okay, we're, we're I, I'm you. A, okay. You know, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. He lost to JTE. Coach wrote that. Hang on right now. What's wrong? Right now. Okay. Here we go. Don't give me homework. The pop off, no, sir. You keep oh. losing. I have to keep. You lost. Ooh. You lost hard. He is Damn. Damn. Yo, exposed. He's actually been a champion before. Oh, for a minute. Oh, for a minute. Yeah, a minute's better than nothing. So I'm trying to help. It's a little He's better than nothing. I'll catch you. The two that. of them were team champions as well. Like, yeah. I, was, I might listen to that. I was gonna say. Listen. All I'm gonna say is, uh, I, I am a little, little tired. Little, little tired okay. of of the condescending pep talks. Oh. All right, so, so who has a belt in the four horsemen? Right okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just trying to motivate you. Who's got a belt? Horse person ship. That's if, if, if that doesn't anybody got right, a belt? None of them right now. So. <laughs> exactly. All right. I'm sorry. It's looking, it's looking pretty All right. sad. All right. You know, because I want you to be great. Bro I want you to be great. Of course. Of course. Horse oh, yo, the, the four horsemen is gonna be breaking up, man. It's gonna break. They're gonna break up, man. I am great. You, you are great. I mean, you had two perfect rounds. You're I am. I am really great. I can't remember. Did the wheels? Question, the wolves right? are still. Yeah, no, it's, it's just do a tag, try to get the belts, but didn't get yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, they lost against the Patriots. Fuck. Okay, hey, I know. Man. The Patriots fucking so, swept them, man. Nobody's it was it was close, that you've got it but in they you. they won. Good, Gianni. good, thank you. Yeah. Rob, everybody. You, America's you favorite team. You've got the potential. <laughs> uh, it just uh, it, it hasn't quite. Fully manifested just yet, but it's what coming. Are the sure it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. We've, we all so believe Emma, it. I need, I need, okay. the, I need the intel. The Wonder Woman hat. Oh yeah, it's a Wonder Woman hat. Oh silly me. Okay. I'm ridiculous. You just, you but, didn't even know. Um, you just wow. like the red and the gold. I just saw the red thing. and the gold. Yeah. Like, oh, I want that hat. Uh, you didn't even know what it was. What do you uh, thought it was? I thought, I thought it might have been a, a Shar Aznable hat, man. Uh, oh, my bad. My bad. I was digging too deep in the crates. Back to you, Kenny Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so you see it right there. <laughs> fix my face. The two blades on Christian's face, fix but he my face. Not just one a great <laughs> match sharp, he just man. played with the beast. These men are both worn out. I've been, I've been too deep in the Gundam trenches. This game shows you that in movie <laughs> trivia, like sex, God. it's all about the finish. <laughs> so I think that you know, the is what is going very on me. Is that? I haven't made it that far yet, but one day we hope to, and one day we hope to welcome all of you to the movie trivia showdown Facebook fan page. Hell yeah, man. So stay out there and check out the Mowdown rundown. Oh, Chip would be Christian. ITunes. That is Ken Nap. I don't see him wearing that bomber jacket. No, and I think one of these Indiana days. Jones hat. One of these days, bro. Fantasy update from the yeah, man for the Halloween wild episode, suits. bro. Wild man, Josh Bakuka. Colin Dale, a moron. Uh, <laughs> all What's the up, time. Guys? Cody Hall here. Yo, Cody's back. Yo, is he gonna get punched again? Yo, is he back now? He got punched. Yo, one time Josh came in and punched the shit out of him. You wanna drop? Either no no go ahead finish yeah. <laughs> don't uh, don't drop either of these guys obviously if you want to try to uh, all up in his know, fucking cipher try to trade trade for him <laughs> try to do that um, I, I think it's pretty good they both did pretty uh do you want to <laughs> yo the blow ups. Josh McCougar here with your movie trivia showdown update. A fantasy <laughs> point bonanza. Points screaming all over the place. Christian Harloff ties the all-time singles record. William Bibiani, perfect round one, perfect round two. These guys That's are fantasy up. mayhem. They are Megatron in 2015. They are Barry <laughs> Sanders in the late 90s. They are your fantasy Yo, money Megatron for football? If you have them, hold on to them. So you had a perfect a one and a perfect two. For their two, entire team, you want these lost. guys going forward. They <laughs> score as this nuts. So many it's points. Not, so this game could turn you out, bro. Him. Cody, how many points the game, did they score? Uh, the important thing is that Christian kept up with him in the second round. 18, you're terrible. Oh, my <laughs> God. The last time I let him in this video, he ruins it. You are never allowed back. Did you hear me? You are never allowed back. You're banned, bro. Kuga. If you need more fantasy, go to schmozno.com. Talk to Franny Chanis. The Schmodown Rundown. He breaks it all down. The guy's the Schmodown Rundown. Rundown, rundown podcast. podcast. SK Plus. I'm Josh McCuga, and I am running out of air in my voice. <laughs> always tossing the mic. Yeah, hey I guys, told you Harlow was like gonna win. Video, oh man, well, I, I was hoping he would. Also, make hey, yo, even even Booker T knew. Booker T knew the inside scoops. He knew. Shout out to Ashley as always. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, man, that was the episode, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the run back, man. That was a, a, a pair of good matches. Um, a really low score. A real low scoring match. Um, at the beginning for Andreco and Humphreys, man. That first Humphrey. Match. Holy crap. Oh, that, that sure. might be the... I got to listen to the run back just to hear them talk about how low scoring that was. Um, 
but yeah, it's uh, it's 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 one for the ages. Um, it, uh, they picked up the pace though in the uh, the second and third matches though, so that that's not too bad. But uh, the Bibiani and um, and Harloff match was really solid, and uh, when Christian turned up the uh, turned up the knots when he I'm got so his uh, scores and soundtrack Harloff was won. great. <laughs> Well, he, he got, he got, he was what? Five Bibiani points? was perfect in one and two. Yeah, he was eight points going into round two. Harloff was five. Bibiani scored, I think he got all his questions at two points, except for one where he had to go multiple choice. Maybe he had to do two multiple choice, I don't know. But um, Christian was able to answer all four of his questions, I believe, at two points apiece. So he, he bridged the gap and got eight straight points going into round two. I think he was only behind. Um, Bibiani by two points. So Harloff had 13 points. Bibiani had 15. Or no, it was 18-15. Uh, I don't even know. I, I just know that <laughs> when when Harloff answered his first two two point question, I think he tied up with Bibiani at that point, and then uh, it became a, a shooting match, and that's where uh, that's where things started to really get intense. And um, I can't ha believe he knew Verde. Yeah, the, the, was, what was the full thing? That was the uh, island that where, where um, Arnold Schwarzenegger invaded and was in God mode at the end of uh, at the end of uh, fucking Commando. Fucking great movie, dude. He's dead tired. Another <laughs> movie we did on NAMN. Oh, another fucking NAMN classic, man. Fucking Commando. That was a good night when we did commentary on that. It was great. Um, and hey, MN movies come up all the time on this thing. Oh, well. they sure do. Hey, but we did a lot of we've done commentary in a lot of fucking films, man. Holy shit! I just know how to pick over a hundred. I, I would say between no. anime and live action. Yeah, if you can, if you count all the we we've done over sixty anime movies, and we've done no. probably over yeah we've done a lot <laughs> of anime movies. If you go back and look at the list, we've done a shit ton. I, I tell you, I know we've done over a hundred movies total. God. Commentary, so yeah, you just have to run those back over on uh, shinstation.blogspot.com. That's a lot of movies. That's a lot of movies, dude. And the archives are up there, so you guys can check those out. Um, just look up Anime Movie Night. Um, I think if you look up, go to bit.ly slash anime movie night, it may take you straight to the page. So, uh, Anime Movie Night, I think the A, the M in movie, and the N in night, all capital. So, bit.ly slash anime movie night, if you want to check that out. But uh, props to all the players, man. It was a really, really, really awesome episode. It's nice when we get double headers like this. I know it's harder for them to do that, but it's nice uh, when we do get them. Uh, a lot of people have been saying, hey, man, how come you guys don't crank up more episodes? Well, keep this in mind, guys. It takes a lot of uh, resources for them to take time to do those episodes, uh, like to do back-to-back -back episodes like that in one day. And to have somebody go through the pro process of editing them takes a lot of time and they have to hire people to do that. Uh, for them to even put out more episodes, they need more, more, more people. And for them to get more people, they need more views and more people supporting their channel. So spread the word about the Schmodown. You want to see more episodes? Spread the word about the Schmodown. Let people know. Um, there's a good chance it could be on uh, network soon. It could end up on sci-fi or something. There's been talks, but for that to happen, more people need to watch the show. So if you haven't gone to the original video yet and watched it, please do. You're going to get that ad revenue? Ad revenue, baby. Yeah, make that money, son. Make that. Make all two pennies. <laughs> Yo, YouTube is chintzy with the fucking ad, ad sense, boy. Oh. I know at least for my videos. Although I don't, I don't monetize these videos because I'm playing someone else's content. So, uh, but for uh, any videos that I do monetize, I don't make shit off of them. Maybe like fucking pennies on the dollar for the most part. Uh, you just need to have hundreds of thousands of views to get a lot of money off of videos, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Um, but guys, thanks for tuning in for the Schmodown Runback. We're gonna cut this one since it's already run uh, quite a bit of time already. We're gonna go ahead and set you free. <laughs> But make sure to follow Shoji Romero over at youtube.com slash, sorry, uh, uh, hitbox, uh, I, I'm fucking up things. Um, Twitter.com slash Shoji Romero. Uh, also on twitch.tv slash Shoji Romero, hitbox.tv slash Shoji Romero. Uh, where hitbox is now uh, Smashcast. So smashcast.tv slash Shoji Romero and youtube.com slash the Shoji Romero. Uh, check him out. Uh, peruse his videos he and i collaborate all the time we're both members of shinjuku station so if you guys have never uh checked out his work before please do look up that resident evil look up that resident evil uh <laughs> the resident evil uh playthrough that we did right here on this channel at youtube.com slash shinjuku station you can find all seven parts here if you want to run back when we uh went through the game of resident evil 7 if you don't have the game you want to see uh, a couple of cats go through it and do commentary on it watch that retro night when we raced into gogo 13 oh shit the fucking retro game <laughs> retro uh Retro Game Night. We uh we did a we did a whole series on that. You can find a lot of them on his YouTube channel, 
as well as uh, um, this channel here on Shinjuku Station as well. Uh, retro Game Night, if you guys look that up, uh, you'll see us uh, go go head-to-head -head in some retro games from uh, the 8-bit, 16-bit eras, and and all sorts of nonsense happens. It's fun. But um, other than that, um, guys, uh, thanks again for watching this episode. Thanks to everybody who left comments. I want to give a special shout-out to uh, the guy who does the great Photoshops for the Schmodown uh, matches, the upcoming matches. His name is Brian Ward. I couldn't remember his name back when I mentioned him a couple episodes ago, episodes ago, but Brian Ward, your work is off the chain. If anything, every time you come up with a poster, it's it's a masterpiece. The one for the triple threat match is fucking great between uh, Roka, uh, Riley, and Merle. Yeah, that shit, is, uh, that shit is great. And the one with JTE and the Patriots uh, versus uh, Wolves of Steel. That's one of my favorites, man. Thanks for making those posters, man. You're, you're, you're godlike with that shit. But uh, anyway, I also want to give a, uh, a special uh, shout out to um, Hunter Slasher 13. Uh, he recently lost his father, and I want to say a uh, special rest in peace to his father as well uh, as uh, my heart goes out to him and his family. Uh, if anything, uh, um, Dennis, if anything, Dennis, uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, keep the keep the best memories of your father in your heart, man, and uh, I, I hope uh, that will get you through these tough times. But thanks for watching. Uh, if these videos help in any kind of way, man, it's uh, it's my pleasure to be able to help with that. But um, as always, uh, youtubecom slash videos and youtubecom slash schmoes no. Make sure to check out their channels and subscribe and support their videos. And uh, anything you want to say before we go, sir? No, man, it was fun being on this one. Aw, oh, man, it's good to have a guest on this, man. Probably won't see me ever again. Oh shit, well, uh, we'll hold you to that. <laughs> so don't worry, guys, you won't see me again. <laughs> He'll be back. All right, guys. I mean, it was too easy kicking sober ass uh, in these answers. Uh, no question. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I thought it was going to suck. Yo, exposed. <laughs> Yo, fancy sci-fi, yo. Oh my I God. grew up 80s. on that shit. <laughs> 80s? Come on now. Simple Minds? <laughs> Simple Minds. Oh, but guys, thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you guys later, man. Peace. Later. Most people are so ungrateful to be alive, but not you, not anymore. Ah! Ah! Game over.